Well, good evening. I'm Bradley Willey, Assistant Principal, and I would like to welcome you to our commencement ceremony for the Colony High School. This is the most important day in these students' lives, and we wish to make this ceremony very special for each of them. As we begin our ceremony, please note air horns, noisemakers, confetti cannons, and signs are not allowed. At the Colony High School, graduation is viewed as the most dignified and formal ceremony of the year. Speakers today have worked countless hours to prepare their remarks, and we ask the audience to respect each speaker for his or her work. In addition, we wish every graduate to be able to be recognized as he or she deserves. We ask the audience to refrain from excessive applause for a graduate that could cause the next graduate to not be recognized in the dignified manner deserved. Your help in maintaining the calm, dignity, and formality of the graduation ceremony is greatly appreciated. Thank you for your assistance with these matters as we begin with our formal commencement ceremony this evening. Please join me in just a few moments as we welcome the class of 2021. Thank you.
Graduates, please be seated. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen and graduates. I am Dr. Tim Baxter, principal of the Colony High School, and it is with a great deal of pleasure I welcome you to the 34th commencement ceremony of the Colony High School, the graduation of the class of 2021. As exemplified by your attendance here this evening, this is a very important event in the lives of these students. Graduation is a very calm, dignified, and formal ceremony for the purpose of honoring and recognizing each and every one of these graduates. Please be respectful of each speaker today as well as each student as they cross the stage by refraining from excessive celebration following the announcement of each student's name. We want each graduate to receive the honor and recognition that is deserved. I would like to introduce you to our distinguished platform of guests. Please remain standing until all have been introduced and audience, please hold your applause until all have been recognized. First, we have our Louisville ISD Board of Trustees members for the 2020-21 school year. Catherine Sells, President. Allison Lasson, Secretary. Angie Cox, Board Member. Jenny Prosnick, Board Member. And we are also joined by newly elected Board of Trustees member, Dr. Buddy Bonner. Thank you, LISD Board of Trustees. We have members of our LISD administration with us this evening. They are Dr. Kevin Rogers, Superintendent of Schools, Dr. Lori Rapp, Deputy Superintendent, Brian Kobeck, Chief Technology Officer, Sheila Smith, Chief Executive Director of Employee Services, and I would also like to recognize Andy Plunkett, Chief of Schools for LISD High Schools, and Mr. Jeffrey Kosh, Chief Executive Director of Student Support Services. Let's give our LISD administration a round of applause. The counselors for the Colony High School, Donna Jordan, lead counselor, Corey Broom, Ellie Gonzalez, Kelly Green, Jennifer Roberts, Erica Woodall, the assistant principals for the Colony High School, Lindsay McLennan, associate principal, Tricia Felician, freshman class principal, Josh Mosby, sophomore class principal, Bradley Willie, junior class principal, and Mr. Kirkland, the senior class principal for the class of 2021. Let's give our platform of guests a big round of applause. Thank you. I would like to also thank some very special people who have prepared our graduates for this moment, our LISD, our TCHS teachers. We have many of our teachers with us this evening, both those that are helping as road leaders and some in the stands as well. Let's have our staff members from the Colony High School please stand and be recognized. Thank you. I would like to recognize our TCHS class officers for the class of 2021. They are President Kelly Klein, Vice President of Student Services, Kylie Byman, Services Officer, Laurel Jones, and Senior Class Spirit Officer, Delaney Kutsky. Our top 10 graduates for the class of 21 are number 10, Sawyer Kamen, number nine, Karina Ani, number eight, Rebecca Villafranca, number seven, George Hawkins, number six, Vardon Corapali, number five, Jasmine Hernandez, number four, Quinn Tran, number three, John Cruz, the salutatorian for the class of 2021 is Emmanuel Lanas. And the valedictorian for the class of 2021 is Rafe Tureen. Let's give the top 10 graduates a big round of applause. I 
I would like to also recognize Mr. Peter Reggie, who will be serving as our announcer today, our Stuco sponsor, Jamie McCarty, who will also be helping with names, and my administrative assistant, Carmen White, for preparing the ceremony today. Let's give them a round of applause. Finally, I would like to thank you, our audience, the parents, friends, and family for your continued support always and for being here on this very special evening tonight. <laughs> Class of 21, this is your day. You have made it, and we could not be more proud of you. As I told you at candle lighting, I remember when you joined us as freshmen and what a promising class you were. Class of 2021, you lived up to every expectation I had then, and now here you are on this important day having achieved so much. Congratulations to you. This past Tuesday, this past Tuesday, May the 25th, marked the 60th anniversary when in 1961, President John F. Kennedy announced in a bold vision before a joint session of Congress that America should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to Earth. Listen, seniors, with close to 60% of the country not in favor of that move at the time and America behind Russia in the space race, this vision seemed impossible. But President Kennedy moved forward boldly and with determination, as did President Johnson after him, and nine years later, with just a few days to spare before the close of the 60s, America achieved the vision and they landed someone on the moon. Seniors, you entered your senior year facing what seemed almost an impossible situation, just like President Kennedy. But when I remember the class of 21 for years to come, I will remember a group of students who just like him had a bold determination to succeed and they would not be denied. In the face of all odds, you were brave in the midst of adversity. You believed in your dreams when many in the world were hopeless. You made a difference in the lives of others when it would have been easy to be selfish. You never let naysayers get you down, and most importantly, you never gave up. Seniors, you displayed our theme, forward focus, and because of your determination, your class carried on our traditions at the Colony High School, as well as the many great successes that we've had. Seniors, your accomplishments have been massive, and they will be remembered for years to come in our history. It was said of Queen Esther, a heroine in the Bible, and the Queen of Israel, perhaps you are meant for such a time as this. Seniors, I would say this year at TCHS, we have proven, and your class in the lead, that we were meant to be here right now for just a time as this in our world. Through it all, your class made a difference. You caught the imagination of our entire community, and you made a difference with your accomplishments throughout the state. Seniors, it is your day, and you have succeeded. Now I urge you to take that forward-focused theme and make it your life theme from here. The qualities I shared earlier about President Kennedy, I want you to put in place in your life from this day. Be determined. Be brave. Believe in your dreams. Make a difference. Don't let naysayers pull you down ever. And most of all, never give up. If you do that, seniors, I'm convinced the sky is the limit for you and as I told you at candle lighting, nothing can stop the class of 2021. Audience, would you join me now in congratulating our seniors and also as we wish them best in their future endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I would ask that you please rise and gentlemen, remove your caps for the presentation of colors by the Colony High School JROTC and the playing of our national anthem.
Right side. Right. Left. Left. On the guard. Oh. Left. Straight. Squeeze there. Cut it. Thank you. You may be seated. Each year, a number of our graduates set aside other opportunities that may await them, and they make the decision to serve in our U.S. Armed Forces. We are proud of every graduate who becomes a contributing member of society, but we owe a debt of gratitude to the brave men and women who dedicate their lives for our countries. Graduates, if you plan to enter the armed forces next year, please rise so we can recognize you at this time. Thank you very much. Today we will have opening remarks that will be given by Amber and Khalid, after our opening remarks, we will have Nathan Kohler, who will provide a spe special recognition to our Collegiate Academy graduates, as well as a special thank you. At this time, please help me join in welcoming Amber and Khalid for opening remarks. Good afternoon, Cougar Nation. I would like to thank you all for being here today to celebrate the graduation of the class of 2021. I was looking through previous year's speeches, trying to find inspiration for this one, when I realized that the inspiration would be sitting right in front of me. Class of 2021, you are going to be the inspiration for generations to come. These past two years, we have overcome unexpected hurdles. We have made sacrifices, and we have shown everyone what it means to have faith in yourself. Just like any other graduating year, we're looking towards the future with excitement, anticipation, and a little bit of doubt. But unlike any other year, we have shown what we are capable of, and that we can brave through any storm that crosses our path. We couldn't have done this without our parents, families, teachers, 
the counselors, and the administration. It has been challenging for all of them, especially our teachers. They have been teaching unresponsive black screens, facing not only their technical problems, but ours as well. While their whole teaching system turned upside down, they demonstrated exceptional patience and turned us into educated, capable adults that we are today. On behalf of the class of 2021, I would like to thank the teachers for becoming the great influences we can learn from. On my first day at TCHS, I had to get to Mr. Fenderson's room. I was walking for 15 minutes and nowhere near the room when I thought to myself, gosh, this school must be huge. It took me a while to realize I was walking in circles. <laughs> but eventually I got there. Fast forward to today, I could probably get there blindfolded. In the future, we will get lost. And we may not have maps because no one has walked on our path before. But there will be people to help only if you're willing to ask. At some point on that journey, you will be confident enough to walk blindfolded. But for now, class of 2021, enjoy who you have become and give yourselves a round of applause. Thank you. Tonight, I stand before you as a Collegiate Academy graduate of the Colony High School. Those graduating from Collegiate Academy tonight form the second half of Cohort 1 with the other half graduating last year. Those graduating tonight are the first group of graduates to go through all four years of the Collegiate Academy. There are before you tonight 41 new graduates of the Louisville ISD Collegiate Academy program at the Colony High School. Would those 41 graduates please stand to be recognized? It feels like it was only yesterday that I started what was not only my first class at the Colony High School, but my first college class as well. Many of the Collegiate Academy graduates that I see today are familiar faces from that class all those years ago, and I must say that I'm proud of every one of you. What we have accomplished was not easy, and it is my pleasure to see all that hard work finally paying off. On behalf of Dr. Baxter, the administration and staff of the Colony High School, and every member of the Collegiate Academy, I would like to thank our LESD administration and the Board of Trustees for making the Collegiate Academy possible and for your constant support. We are all beneficiaries of your commitment, and this opportunity will change these graduates' future from here. Thank you. Thank you, Ambren and Nathan. Our second remarks today will be given by your class president, Kelly Klein. Kelly was president of student council, a member of the National Honor Society, participated in the Circle of Friends, FCA, volleyball, soccer. She was a kindness ambassador and a Bible study co-lead. She was on the A and AB honor roll and was an academic all district recognee for soccer. Kelly plans on attending Texas A&M University, where she will major in kinesiology with an emphasis on motor behavior to become an occupational therapist for special needs children. Kelly will be followed today by your salutatorian, Emmanuel Yanis. Emmanuel is a member of Mu Alpha Theta and Ring of Hope Boxing Club. He was an AP scholar and a National Hispanic Program Scholar. 
and he plans on attending the University of Texas at Dallas, and he will major in computer engineering. But at this time, first, please help me welcome your class president, Kelly Klein. Good evening, graduating class of 2021. We did it. We made it through arguably the hardest senior year a class collectively has had to navigate through. Tonight, I wanna to focus on a couple of our experiences over our time here at the Colony High School. Over four years ago, it was someone's idea to have a combined field trip with Griffin and Lakeview at Amazing Jake's. Y'all remember that? That was the first time high school became a reality and for the next four years, we would all be together. Freshman year started with the Floors Lava Challenge being played in any public area you were in, and Mason Ramsey, also known as the Yodeling Boys, viral Walmart video song stuck in our head. Freshman year, we faced new teachers, new friends, new hallways, and nothing was familiar. I think if we didn't learn our way around the building, at least we all learned that the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Sophomore year for me is kind of a blur. We became comfortable in our friends, clubs, and organizations, and a constant sound was the jiggling of keys because without saying it, you wanted everyone to know that you could drive. And now that you could drive, you're getting your license in cars, and you could contribute to the TikTok trend of dancing outside your passenger door to the lyrics, Kiki, do you love me? Sophomore year was also the year everyone was anxiously awaiting our class ranks, transcripts, and final chemistry grades. Those were our big stressors. As we move on to our next chapter of life, I encourage y'all to not get wrapped up in the small things because realistically, I still haven't used X in a real life problem. Then came junior year, the year that wrecked us. Not only was it junior year, so classes got harder and life got harder, but everything was consistently changing too. Then came what we called the longest spring break of our life. We were quickly forced to learn how to use WebEx, and weeks and weeks went by of long walks with the family, drive-by birthdays, and binge-watching Outer Banks. Through the quarantine and online classes, we learned adaptability. 2020 was a wild year, but one common theme was shortages. Rather, it was a shortage of toilet paper or a shortage of coins. But something our world can never come short of is kindness. So let's start spreading that like a wildfire. Finally, we move on to junior year part two, also known as senior year. Senior year was not exactly like High School Musical told us it was going to be. It was rough. I felt a lot of disappointment throughout the year, but I heard one thing and it changed my whole perspective. Stay positive and test negative. <laughs> no, but in all seriousness, what I learned and know to be true for my life is that we didn't miss out on anything because God didn't put a perfect senior year in our plan. We were all expectant, sure, but nothing on this earth is guaranteed. And I encourage y'all through the next positive and negative seasons of our life to look back and see how much we've grown. Now, remember when they told us senior year was gonna go by in a flash? I never would have imagined it would go by in a Zoom. Through it all, we learned and grew through this crazy year. And one thing that makes our senior year different from the rest is how we persevered through it all. So as I wrap up, I couldn't think of a better way to end my time here than for y'all to say with me, God bless and go Cougars. So, God bless and go Cougars. <laughs> Thank y'all. Good evening, class of 2021. We're finally here to celebrate this major milestone in our lives. It is crucial we use graduation to reflect on how both our adversities and accomplishments formed us into who we are today, strong, courageous souls who fight to the end. Since y'all are strong, y'all can endure these upcoming memories of misery. But first, I would like to take a moment to thank the parents, family, and friends who motivate us in fulfilling our aspirations and make us better citizens of America. I would also like to thank the teachers and LASC administration for facilitating our learning and arranging this graduation given the extraordinary circumstances. Lastly, I would like to thank my friend JP for giving into senioritis since freshman year and pushing me to deliver this speech. 
Just four years ago, we entered TC excited to begin another chapter in our lives. However, this transition was both uncomfortable and challenging. We stink bombed hallways with our profuse sweat, which greatly irritated our teachers and upperclassmen. We were unequipped with the skills necessary to succeed in our classes. I'm sorry, Miss Bond, for gladly accepting a 32 on my first geometry quiz when I thought I had done worse. And we awkwardly mumbled along the school song in pep rallies, which is understandable because I still need to read the lyrics from the gym wall. Eventually, we integrated into TC's environment and experienced great times here, but we still suffered. Masses of tardies were racked up throughout the years, at least half of which should be attributed to Rafe, our valedictorian. We crammed for AP exams and waited hours for students to finish the star OCs, both of which were not easy feats. The countless reading assignments, the timed essays, and the calculus tests kill all of us. We listened to lame yet excruciating conspiracy theories from Chris Lopez that made some of us want to leave class. To top it all off, we're still facing a pandemic that created absurdly long lunch lines. In fact, I'd like to confess that I was the first confirmed COVID-19 case at TC. And I must say, it was a truly wonderful experience, probably because I, as a salutatorian, finally achieved first at something. <laughs> now that I recalled some of our memories at TC, I hope that y'all don't look back at our past with regret. These instances should be looked back upon positively. At TC, we did not falter from the numerous obstacles we faced and continue to face. Instead, we persevered and made the best out of what we had. Our athletic and fine arts programs continue to compete at district, regional, and state competitions. Students participate in clubs, engaged in UL events, and excelled on the unit tests and projects. Even just being here, is an accomplishment that many people are simply unable to grasp. So please, during whichever path you embark on after today, don't regret your past mistakes and circumstances. Don't think about the person you should have been. Rather, think about the person you could be. Wield your free will to surmount hardships and benefit your communities. I'm sure the resilience instilled in us from our user will further empower us. Graduates, I wish you all fulfilling and prosperous lives. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Emmanuel. Our next speaker will be the valedictorian for the class of 2021, Rafe Turin. Rafe is president of the National Science Honor Society, vice president of National Honor Society, was an honors member of the academic decathlon team and captain of the varsity debate team. He was an AP scholar with distinction and he was in the top 64 globally at the International Public Policy Forum debate competition. He was the third highest scorer at the academic decathlon district meet and he adds he was bronze two in League of Legends. <laughs> Rafe plans to attend the University of Texas in Austin and he will major in biochemistry. At this time, please help me welcome the valedictorian for the class of 2021, Rafe Turin. Good evening. I know it will be one of many, whether it's training for the armed services to earning your PhD. Today symbolically marks the start of a new chapter in each and every one of your lives. I hope you all write incredible stories one day. Of course, my success over these last couple of years is not just my own. I share this podium with countless incredible people that have shaped who I am today. And to them, I must show my gratitude. So thank you. To my teachers, even you, Mr. Mera, for sharing the many secrets of this world and for building the next generation of doctors, writers, and politicians with utmost care. To my closest companions, Kathy Tran, George Hawkins, Nicholas Melvin, to name a few. Thank you guys for tolerating me these last couple of years. I'm truly honored to grow up alongside you. I look forward to the many things we will accomplish together. And lastly, I'd like to thank myself for pretty obvious reasons. But enough about me. 
class of 21 has been through a lot together. As an entering freshman, we didn't know what we were getting ourselves into, and soon realized that asking, where am I hug at, didn't exactly work anymore. As the days passed on, the coursework got harder, and the responsibilities piled up. We were forced to scroll through the endless modules of EverFi, and of course, faced a global pandemic that turned our lives upside down. I'd be lying if I said high school was fantastic, but that's not to say it didn't have its moments. We ran through the halls as a five song played every Friday. We shared many heartfelt sentiments among our friends during lunchtime. We discovered Chris Lopez is not very funny. And Mr. Huang is most definitely 14. The class of 21 is like any other, but what makes us truly extraordinary are the many moments, both good and bad, we have built together over these last couple of years. Graduates, the life ahead of us will not be easy. It will be filled with many times of stress and grief. Or so I've heard, I'm only 18. Rather than, falter in the rather than falter in the face of hardship, I urge you all to embrace the many challenges that lay ahead and cherish the moments that make this life worth living. These are the things that truly do define us and serve as tokens to remind us that we are only human. As we now part ways, I hope you all remember the many memories we've shared together over these last couple of years. And don't forget to cherish the many moments to be made in the near future. After all, what more do we really have? I'll leave this thought with you as I close my speech. Graduates, I wish you all the very, very best in your many adventures. Try not to have too much fun without me. Thank you. Thank you, Rafe. Graduates, at this time, please stand. Dr. Rogers, I am pleased to present to you the senior class of 2021 for the Colony High School. There are before us 418 exceptional seniors. I have verified that each of these seniors have met the requirements of the Texas Education Agency and the Louisville Independent School District and at this time should be awarded the appropriate diploma or certificate. Thank you, Dr. Baxter. To you, the Colony High School Class of 2021, we are very proud of your accomplishments. We look forward to even greater achievements in your future. Mrs. Sells, Dr. Baxter has verified these students are eligible to receive their diplomas or certificates. Therefore, by the authority vested in me by the State of Texas and the Louisville Independent School District Board of Trustees, I certify them. Their diplomas or certificates are to be awarded at this time. Congratulations. Abdul Rafi Tarin, Emmanuel Michael Yanes, John Paul Cruz, okay. Quinn Nu Tran, Jasmine Idalia Hernandez, Vardon Reddy Corpoli. George Michael Hawkins. Luisa Rebecca Villafranca. Karina Maria Annie. Sawyer Riley Kamen. And Berin Khalid. Nathan Colon. Nathan Colon. Colon. 
Kelly Jazz Jamison Klein. Kylie Rain Byman. Don't say anything. Laurel Jones. Delaney Ann Kutz. Akram Yai Adane. Alvin Ni Klu Ajayi. Zoe Aurora Aguirre. Zachary Lee Alanis. Kevin Alberan. Kenzie Ray Albers. John Paul Edward Alcala. Isaac Ramses Alde. Kennedy Elizabeth Alexander. Madeline Ann Alexander. Javon Laurel Allen. Tommy Steve Alonzo. Christopher Daniel Alvarado. Daniela Lee Alvarez. Yvette Yanina Alvarado Hernandez. Vidiana Lisette Alvarez. Landon Scott Amaya. Emily Sue Anderson. Samantha Lee Anderson. Stone Jackson Anderson. David Arevalo. Kesslyn Riley Arnold. Ryan Stephen Arnold. Jalen Chantrice Ashley. Elijah O'Neill Austin. Alejandro Arath Avalos Severo. Emmeline Abigail Besley. Kimberly Dolores Avila. Gabriel Alexander Ayala. Cordelia Ann Baca Vigil. Sarah Baggio. Okay. Allison Page Barnett. Jacob Thomas Barney. What's your name? Javante. Javante? Yeah, Barstale. Javante Barstale. Mackenzie Madison Bates. Lily Morgan Baxter. Patrick Alexander Becker. Julian G. Benavides. Kiera Ebony Nicole Benjamin. McKenna Renee Berg. Brianna Grace Betancourt. Hope Christian Bianco. Josiah Miguel Blanc Diaz. Abdullah Ziad Butari. Grant Patrick Boyer. Jacob Brashear. Jacob Brashear. Madison Alexis Broerman. Broden Timothy Brown. Brooklyn Jikaya Brown. Claire Danielle Brown. Tierra Larea Brown. Zaji Veronica Brown. Ethan Charles Buffington. Christian Omar Burgos. Jacob Martin Burns. Samantha Yvonne Burns. Carissa K. Byrne. Janil Umara Kalazareta. 
Iram Camacho. Joshua Michael Cano. Gabriel Alexander Carmona. Jordan Christian Carnegie. Anthony Robert Carniero Jr. Ajani Jalen Carter. Grace Elizabeth Carey. Danielle Nicole Castillo. Julio Cesar Castrejon Figueroa. Yamile Castrejon. M Maisie K. Chevalier. I'm Peyton Christensen. Chase Anthony Coker. Jaden Christine Colum. Savannah Lynn Colon. Ashley Nicole Connor. Ashley Nicole Connor. Dianara Paula Contreras Plasencia. Sarah Contreras Palacios. Anthony Lee Coomer. James Thomas Cooper III. Lauren Catherine Kaur. Franklin Andres Corona. Isaac Santiago Cortinas. Area Danielle Cotto. Andrew Cole Varian Crouchman. Raul Cruz Avitia. Catherine Elizabeth Falca Culver. Lauren Alexis Cunningham. Diego Axel Cura. Isabel Marie De Silva. Wait, wait. Sean Mark Doherty. Ashley De La Cruz. Deel De La Cruz Martinez. Elena Hill De Santiago. Matilda Alexia De La Garza. Cameron Travis Dennington. Stephanie Marlene Doggett. Lydia Emma Ray Donaldson. Lydia Emma Ray Donaldson. Dakari Ashen Dorsey. Taj Hakeem Dorsey. Hayden Philip Dulaney. Jaden Marcello Duncan. Hayden Han Dong. Joseph Clayton Eastlack. Alexander Charlie Earhart. Elijah Nathan Elias. Raul Aroldo Escobar. Uriel Salazar Escobar. Victor Oan Esquivel Ventura. Jarrett Joe Evans. Michaela Mary Evans. Gavin da David Fays. Madison Taylor Firth Garona. Matthew David Fisenek. Elena Michelle Fitzgerald. Jaziel Enoch Flores. Tristan Alexander Flores. Carlos Roberto Franco. Rihanna Christine Franks. Annabelle Lee Freeman. 
Ernesto Fuentes Retana Jr. Adriana Abigail Galindo. Matthew Arcane Galloway. Jordan Lee Gandy. Natalia Garcia. Omar Garcia. Omar Garcia. Hayden Joseph Garman. Hayden Joseph Garman. Jasmine, what's your name? Jasmine. Christina George. Christina George. Summer Nicole Thurston. Summer Nicole Thurston. Holston. 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 Ghostin. Okay. Ethan Richard Gibbs. Wesley Cole Gibbs. Haley Nicole Gibson. Carly May Goldie. Anthony Omar Gomez. Angelina Marie Gonzalez. Daniela Gonzalez. Isabel Gonzalez. Justine Lee Gonzalez. Tiffany Nicole Gonzalez. Alexandria Jade Gutler. Elizabeth Regina Grabiek. Gracie Catherine Graham. Luke Everett Grisso. Macy Paige Grissom. Madison Nicole Grupp. Mohena Grishma Gudimala. Elijah Gage Guerra. Alec Brian Guerrero. Philip David Guerrero. Vanessa Guerrero. Israel Izzy Guetta. Max Cooper Gunn. Geiling. Emily Elizabeth Geiling Fountain. Kenneth Lintray Hall. Josephine Lane Hargrave. Adrian Harrison. Christopher Isaac Hartley. Mackenzie Ryan Hartley. Morgan Casey Hartley. Elena Ray Haver. Avery Gabrielle Henderson. JC Kyler Henson. Isaac Hernandez. Riley Joy Hernandez. Hudson James Herring. Elena Danielle Hindman. Indigo Marie Hitt. John Lee Hong Ho. Hunter Hayes Hoff. Zachary Hunter Holland. Benjamin Adam Hooper. Valerie Nicole Huck. Corey Nathan Hudson. Amanda Huerta. Ella Grace Hustis. Elijah Zachary Hall. Yeah. Haley Elizabeth Houston. Cade William Irwin. Yeah. Seifelsnar Ahmed Mohammed Ishag. 
Kentaria Denise Jackson. Sharice Nicole Jackson. Jovan J Paul Jacobo. Cirilio Jaimes Jr. Vanaya Yeremi Jimenez. Ruben John. Jack Edward Johnson. Caitlin Brianna Johnson. Nicholas River Johnson. Olivia Jade Johnson. Benjamin Grant Johnston. Angelo Cavante Jones. Patrick Dean Keck. Gary Amaro Keeler. The Isis Lee Kelly. Christopher Robert Kelsey. Connor Gerald Kaiser. Evren Khan. Jason Kim. Jason Kim. Corbin Anthony Costell. Alex Joseph Kurian. Riley Niklas Per Lagerstrom. Nabig Nabil Lalani. Matthew Davis Latham. Chloe Grace Lawrence. Abigail Salame Levia. America Natalia Limon. Leslie Marie Logan. Brian Alexis Lopez. Christopher Lopez. Wait, wait. Raquel Imperatriz Lopez Martinez. Andrew Eric Lovato. Miriam Marlene Lozano. Lauren Elizabeth Lucas. Lindsay Nicole Lucas. Sean K. Luke. Brianna Z. Luna. Madison Sky Luttrell. Cynthia Kim Lee. Ashton Shamar Malone. Ryder May Marks. Clara Elizabeth Marsh. Brianna Nicole Martin. Alan Moises Martinez. Ashley Janine Martinez. Brian De Jesus Martinez. Edgar Alexander Martinez Jr. Lisbeth Martinez Garcia. Samantha Maricela Martinez. Nicholas Grant Mathis. Jolyn Zila Mata Flores. Christian Rex Matthews. Seth Patrick McCauley. Colin Lawrence McLaren. Christopher Matthew McClincy. Stephen Russell McCollum. Braxton Kieran McCutcheon. Patrick Tucker McDonald. Xavier Rashawn McKenzie. Daniela Medina. Xavier Ivangles Medina. Antonio Mendoza. 
Shane Alton Menz. Carmen K. Merrill. Sabrina Brooke Miller. Leah Brooke Milligan. Anna Rose Midlin Midland. Charles Byron Motes. Parmita Mohammadi. Lisbeth Monjaras. Krista Montalvo. Inaya Lene Yvonne Moore. Andrew Anthony Morales Pineda. Catherine Morales Lopez. Sari Ann Morales. Dakota Clayton Mosher. Esmeralda Mosqueda Alvarez. Dylan Lane Mauser. <coughs> Iris Munoz. Christian Alejandro Narnst. Jorge Alberto Nava Reina. Dublin Adrian Navaret. Bridget Navarro. Benjamin Richard Nelson. Grant Marie Nelson. Adam Kin Nguyen. Kwok Vong Nguyen. Vin Trong Nguyen. Kalia Lachey Nixon. Michael Joseph Nolting. Haley Yasmin Ortega. Francisco Andres Ortiz. Michelle Ortiz Zoto. Taylor Marie Ortiz Sanchez. Ashton Elizabeth Ullet. Cecilia Sue Owens. Isaac Dylan Padilla. Trinity Sivan Parsons. Anissa Michelle Patterson. Caitlin Nicole Payne. Carolina Estefania Pesino. Kyle Anthony Pena. Deja Michonne Pendleton. Neil Eden Orla Orlin Perdomo. Diana Pescador Cipriano. Kylie Renee Pettit. Brooklyn Pham. Ty Win Tree Pham. DeAndre Malik Pierce. Taylor Abigail Pierre. James Edwards Pittman III. James Jackson Pope. Piper Ray Powell. Jordan Renee Prather. Raya Mary Raji. Abigail Therese Ramirez. John Ramirez Jr. Derek Xavier Ramos Palma. Jonathan Emmanuel Ramos. Kaylee Diane Ramsey. Xavion LeBaron Rankin. Jonathan Michael Rausch. Giselle Regino. Hayden Jeffrey Reinbold. Fatima Luciana Reyes. Yosmar Jesus Reyes. Devin Reyna. Ashley Reynoso Benitez. Jared James Reynolds. <coughs> it's not. 
Emma Lee Richardson. Sorry. Haley Alexis Richings. Alexander William Ricker. Valeria Rios. Kayla Sarai Rivas. Joanna Rivera. Joanna Rivera. Samantha Guadalupe Rivera. Valerie Ann Rivera. Jonathan Michael Roberson. Hey. Chaniah Angel Robinson. Dante Byron Robinson. Sarah Ashley Rodriguez. Vanessa Rodriguez Cital. Marco Antonio Rojas. Moses Rojas. Giselle Roque Rojas. Alba Victoria Rosa. Kevante Martez Ross. Kamari Lemi Russell. Maxwell Riot Sacknick. Ryan Hunter Saxe. Sky LaRue Safian. Hawa Hussein Saeed. Isaiah Emmanuel Salazar. Naomi Sofia Salazar Compt. Ryan Luis Salinas. James Guilim Sally. Caleb Ryan Sampley. Christopher Diego Sanchez. Major Waverly Sanders. Arissa Caitlin Faith Sandoval Goodson. Holly Diane Sandoval. Zachary Hayden Schrag. Madison Rochelle Schultz. Caden Cole Sclafani. Ryan James Scott. Tyrese Devante Scott. Isaiah Jabir Shabazz. Cassidy Ann Sheehan. Ryan Joseph Simmons. Colin Turner Singleton. David Wayne Smith Jr. Lawrence Michael Smith. Kendall Morgan Stellman. Zanaria Trinity M. Smith. Zoe Jade Smith. Andres Alejandro Soto Pulido. Shamarilyn Kezia Stewart. Emma Louise Stiles. Kinsey Sue Stoker. Xander Mack Stolfi. Nathan Alexander Story. Chase Michael Patrick Stumvall. Brandon Adrian Scott Tashe. Ellie Kim Taylor. Kyle Anthony Taylor. Hannah Gabriella Tell. Aaron Lavelle Thomas. Cameron Dale Thomas. Aria Aliyah Thornton. Kaya Ray Tillery. Michael Andres Andreas Tollet. Zachary Ross Torrance. Brooklyn Amarie Torres. Sean Gregory Toy. Justin Tianmen Tran. Kathy Ni nee Tran. Michelle Lynn Trester. 
Anastasia Gamia Roche Tucker. Kimberly Joanna Umanzor. Leslie Valdespino. Don't say his middle name. Jacob Valencia. Sarah Megan Van Voren. Rebecca Lynn Vandenhol. Jarrell Gimon Vergis. Marcus Marcos Velasquez. Sebastian Conrad Veltman. Raven Seth Danielle Vidad. Curtis Tan Datvo. Andrew Jarrell Vodo. Victoria Annalise Vodo. Brooke Marie Wade. Keegan Wyatt Wagner. William Bradley Warren. Isaiah Nicholas Washington. Sanaya K. Washington. Jaden Dante Watkins. Dominic Uria Watts. Justice Ashane Whetstone. Karina Ruby White. Chandler Ashton Wilkerson. Elijah Jamal Williams. Sarah Danielle Williams. Michael Blade Willoughby. Lorica Rose Wilson. Zachary Leland Wilson. Noah Luke Witham. Tyler Jack Withrow. Kristen Delaney Wood. Lindsay Elizabeth Wood. Tanner Quinton Ride. Jalen Terrell Wright. Janelle Tanise Wright. Kendall Spring Wright. Jalen Deschel Wynn. Carla Yanes. Angel Jose Zamora. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of the Colony High School for 2021. Our closing remarks tonight will be given by Jasmine Hernandez. After Jasmine speaks, we will end our ceremony with a very special piece we call TCHS Pride and Tradition, which will be presented by class officers Delaney Kutsky, Kylie Byman, and Laurel Jones. Parents and guests, I want to thank you for your presence today and being a wonderful audience as we have recognized the class of 21. Graduates, this will bring our year and our theme forward focus to a close. It is now your time to take that theme and to make that your life theme and to accomplish all the dreams that you have. We can't wait to see the great things that you accomplish in your future. God bless each of you. At this time, please help me welcome Jasmine Hernandez for closing remarks. Good evening, class of 2021. I want to congratulate all my fellow peers on such a momentous accomplishment. I would like to thank everyone that has helped us achieve such accomplishment, from our parents, teachers, counselors, principals, 
coaches, and other staff members. Thank you for all that you have done to guide us toward greatness. This last year has been a difficult year, especially with the global pandemic. This, however, is a testimony to our class and how hard we have worked to be here today. We have, despite these trials, risen above as a class. Through my years at TC, I have learned something very important. Nothing is given and everything is earned. We have to continue to push ourselves to be better, which is what I hope we each do to, make a, to truly make a difference in this world. I apologize to all the guys in advance for quoting Hannah Montana, and it's gonna be really hard for me not to try and sing this. We always knew this day would come, that we'd be standing one by one, with our future in our hands, so many dreams, so many plans. We always knew that after all these years, that there'd be laughter and there'd be tears. But I never thought I'd walk away with so much joy, but so much pain. And it's so hard to say goodbye, but yesterday's gone, we gotta keep moving on. And I'm so thankful for the moments, so glad I got to know you. The times that we had, I'll keep like a photograph and hold you in my heart forever. I'll always remember you. I hope that we all look back at the fond memories and successes we had at TCHS, but I also hope that we look forward to the future with excitement and readiness for the next step in our lives. With that being said, God bless and go Cougars. School pride has been something that we all needed a little bit more of this year. Although there was a pandemic going on our entire senior year, we didn't fall short when it came to pride. We thrived in academics, extracurriculars, and student involvement, all while feeling the stress of the outside world. We are all here today because we finished a huge part of our lives and are now heading to college, finding a trade, joining the military, or just starting our lives. We started school in 2008, and although it seems like ages ago, we still have many memories throughout school that have made us and our friendships to what they are today. With such a hard year, every student has made the best of what we were given and have more than exceeded the expectations. The true beginning of our lives starts today. Tomorrow, we all enter the world as adults and high school graduates. We may not all be the next president or Elon Musk, We've accomplished 13 years of school, which will make today something we all look back on with pride. At the end of this journey, another begins. So as we all say goodbye to the Colony High School and each other, I read you this quote by Dr. Seuss. Don't cry because it's over, smile because it happened. Four years ago, we were beginning to embark on an unforgettable journey, opening a new chapter of our lives called high school. We were these young kids thrown into a whole new world. Putting ourselves out there, we each excelled throughout our school, getting involved in whatever seemed to interest us. Some of us became actors while others became athletes. Some played an instrument while others argued on the debate team. These interests soon became passions and unexpected friendships were formed along the way. We attended pep rallies together, built floats for homecoming parades together, and tried mastering the school song over and over again together, and some of us still struggle. However, whether it's clapping for theater during a curtain call or screaming our lungs out as our football team wins yet another game, our class has continued to take pride in everything we do. Now we sit here, closing one of many chapters we have written together, carrying a heart filled with both cougar pride and experiences we wouldn't get anywhere but the Colony High School. Before we leave to begin the start of our new, exciting journey, I would like to reflect on the deep-rooted tradition at the Colony High School. Whether it is our older traditions, like the homecoming parade, or our notorious dress-up weeks, we have many traditions that make the colony so special. Although some of these looked a little different the past two years, we started our own new traditions. The drive through senior sunset, car candle lightings, virtual pep rallies, prom picture palooza, all in order to have a memorable senior year, year while still keeping people safe. We have overcome more this year than any senior class and will go down in history for excelling through a pandemic. 
Because of these experiences, we will forever be proud TC Cougars. We will carry the things we have learned through these years into our future endeavors, and I know the class of 2021 will achieve numerous great things. Businesswoman Rita Craig says, traditions touch us, they connect us, and they expand us. So, class of 2021, I encourage you all to remember these traditions as you make your mark and create a difference in this world. Will the graduating class please rise? Will the class of 2021 please turn your tassels to the left? Guests, please stand and join us in singing our school alma mater.